It's a Minimalist Monday edition of Optimal Finance Daily, episode 631, Bigger Isn't Always Better, Remembering to Appreciate What I Already Have, by J.D. Roth of GetRichSlowly.org. And I'm Dan, the guy who is here each weekday reading to you from some of the best blogs on personal finance. And before we get to it, thank you Haven Life Insurance Agency for their support. Haven Life offers term life insurance, coverage issued by Massachusetts Mutual Life Insurance Company, that you can apply for online, available nationwide. Haven Life is all about making not just life insurance, but your life less hard. To get your free quote, head over to welcome.havenlife.com OFD. That's welcome.havenlife.com slash OFD. Get your free quote today. And now let's get right to our post as we optimize your life. Bigger isn't always better. Remembering to appreciate what I already have by J.D. Roth of GetRichSlowly.org. Walking home from work today, I decided to take the long way. Most of the time, I choose the easy quarter mile stroll downhill from the office to our happy half acre or happy 0.62 acre if you'd like to be precise but to celebrate the first day of summer, I took the River Forest Loop. The River Forest Loop is exactly what it sounds like, a series of quiet streets that wend along the east bank of the Williamette River, easing their way beneath stands of tall oak, fir, and pine. It's three miles from our house down the River Forest Road and back again. I choose this route when I need exercise or want to think, and on days like today, I choose it to soak up the scenery. As I walked, I looked at the trees and the river and the lake, I listened to the birds. I watched the squirrels go about their squirrely business. I nodded to the neighbors, and strangely enough, I encountered three different loose dogs traipsing around unleashed, each of which was pleased to spend some time walking with me a ways. After a while, I stopped looking at nature and started looking at the homes. The River Forest Loop has some great houses. In fact, the side of the street next to the river is lined with what can only be described as mansions. The homes are stately and ornate, with beautiful manicured lawns. Rumor has it that one of these homes belongs to Will Vinton of California Raisins fame. I've looked at these homes before and even have my favorite, which I'm dying to buy if it ever goes on the market, but usually in just a cursory fashion. Today, I really looked at them. And as I looked, I began to covet. I want a house like that, I thought as I passed the new house built from river rock and brick. Or maybe one like that. I mused while considering the next lot, which includes a tennis court. I imagined what it would be like to live in homes like these. Homes with arched double-door entries, vaulted ceilings, and wraparound porches. How much would it cost? And where would I get the money? What would this new, wealthier JD be like? What would I do? How great would my life be? But my imagination really took flight when I saw that one of the homes was for sale. I stopped at the top of the driveway to admire all of the gables, the fountain, and the three-car garage. I pictured the other side, which must sit right at the river's edge. The cell phone photo in this post is of this house. It's listed for $2.3 million, or almost 10 times what we paid for our house. Wow, I thought, if only I could afford a place like that. Yes, JD, if only. And then what? Would that make you satisfied? As I resumed my walk, my route led me back through normal neighborhoods, ranch houses and minivans and small city lots. Several folks were out working in their yards, just as I've been doing for the past few weeks. Like me, they're trying to make their homes look as pretty as possible. Suddenly, it occurred to me that I didn't need some fancy dream house. I already have one. I recalled the excitement that Chris and I felt when we first found our current place back in 2004. We thought it was perfect. Our hearts broke when we thought we'd lost the home by $500, and our spirits soared when the prospective buyers backed out. When we moved in, we were overwhelmed, but mostly in a good way. We thought this was our dream house. And you know what? It is our dream house. And I have a great life already, even without a fountain or a riverfront view. Here it was, three in the afternoon on the first day of summer, and I was walking home from work. And here I was again, half an hour later, plopped on a park bench writing a blog post in a notebook, while all around me, kids played tennis and basketball. At home, I'd grill some steaks and pet my cats and read a couple of comic books. What more could I ask for? Well, besides for Chris not to be on the road for work, that is. I'm always urging others to appreciate what they have. 
When you feel that aching urge to keep up with the Joneses, when you wake up and realize you've begun to succumb to lifestyle inflation, it's time to pause and take stock of what you have. When you slow down and really appreciate what you already own, you can often slake the thirst for something bigger and better. Maybe it's time to take my own advice. In my case, I reminded myself that although our house has been a little rough around the edges lately, that's mostly because I haven't had time to take care of the property like I ought to. After I'm through with my big yard work push, and now that we've repaired the sewer line, and after we purge a little more stuff, I'll feel much better about our place again. We'll have people over, we'll laze in the afternoon sun, we'll pick peas and berries from the garden. I'm smart enough to realize that a $2.3 million dream home won't make me any happier than where we live now. I think I'll stay put. You just listened to the post titled, Bigger Isn't Always Better, Remembering to Appreciate What I Already Have by J.D. Roth of GetRichSlowly.org. And thank you again to Haven Life Insurance Agency for their support. Haven Life offers term life insurance, coverage issued by Mass Mutual, that you can apply for online, available nationwide. Believe it or not, helping to financially protect your family is actually pretty affordable. For example, a 35-year-old woman in excellent health could get a half a million dollar 20-year Haven Life term policy issued by Mass Mutual for only around $18 a month. And Haven Life makes it super easy to apply online. It feels more like a conversation than a form. Plus, if you need them, their customer support team is lovely. Seriously. To get your free quote, head over to welcome.havenlife.com slash OFD. That's welcome.havenlife.com slash OFD. Get your free quote today. And that's going to do it for me today. Have a great start to your week and I will see you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.